Hello, so we'll be doing a DIY gift basket tutorial. Yay! We would be needing, of course, a gift basket. And you can use a bigger one or the smaller one, but I'll be using a bigger gift basket. Okay, we would also need a scissors, a pair of scissors, and a cello tape. Yeah, okay. Most importantly, we would also need the items that we'll be using to fill the basket. These are my preferences. I bought groceries for my mama. Oh, yeah. The gift is going to go to my mama for Christmas. Yeah, something later. Actually, it wasn't Christmas. It was New Year. I made this video long before I edited it. Yeah, and I forgot to say that would also need graphic in addition to the um, scissors and the other things we got. Yes, so, um, sorry, a uh, what did I just show? Graphic, cellophane, and a ribbon. So these are the items that I got for my mom. You can see me some rice, ribbon, tomatoes, and Please, please, please check the expiry date of whatever you buy because <laughs> you don't want to be giving your mom some spot items. No, no, no. But nothing I bought here was spot. I just, I just realized that I only got home to check the, um, the other items I bought from a different shop because I didn't really trust the shop. Okay, so now let's get started. First of all, we'll take our basket and then we will fill the bottom of it with the graphic with in no particular order we just scramble the paper and put it in there the newspaper i used an old newspaper you can also use cotton you can also use a um, plain paper anything soft you know that will make it look nice shredded paper is that what they call it yeah and make the bottom look nice not necessarily just make it look firm and that's what you're doing right now that's what i'm doing right now oh actually you're doing it together yeah <laughs> so that's it and i think i'm done why did i lift it i don't know it's lightweight i guess that's what i'm trying to say and then we take off our items and then we fill our basket. Oh no! But before we do that, here's one technique. I don't know, I just got it. Because the first time I tried to do a basket, it was too heavy, I couldn't wrap it. So now I decided that I'll put the uh, wrapper underneath it before I even begin. Because I don't want to be lifting me anything. It doesn't matter if your gift is going to be lightweight, because mine was going to be heavy. The rice alone was quite heavy. Yeah. And you don't want to be showing the side. You want to be showing the actual face of it. Now, the reason being that you want to display the actual item on the sides, on the outer part of the basket and not within it. So, what we'll do is, yeah, that's what I just said. I just did. So, you turn the, the, in the, the back side of the items inwardly. And then you check the reason why i put in the rice first this is not the only item no <laughs> i put in that first because the uh, is the tallest amongst them all so i put that in there to kind of check the center of the tallest item in there so i know that i'm my basket is well placed on the wrap okay and then you check you pull you pull them together make sure that you are the right place all right so now you fill in the basket and i think my paper wasn't enough now i'm putting in the uh, some tomatoes and please please check the expiry date of your items before you put you buy them at all because i happen to buy some of the items from a different shop so I'm now putting them in there. 
arrange them nicely make sure at least one of the repeated items are visible you know because that is the whole essence of of a hamper or a gift basket so yeah i'm putting them in there and yeah Every So now you can wrap it but you just don't wrap it you know you're sure that everything comes together yeah 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 so now we have a smile a smile on our face okay oh, sorry that was my lip so now we fold it from each end to the center, giving it a very beautiful and gentle um, pull to the center. From one side, I think I did mine from the left first and then I went in from the right. You pull everything to the center beautifully I'm trying to find the tip of the tape yeah and then you gently wrap that around the neck of your hamper and you see that coming out yeah you see a part coming out don't worry you work that out soon it's, you resolve it pretty pretty soon and snug okay so with the part that just folded out right now this is what we're gonna do. I opened it. Fold it back in in triangle. And take tape it down. Yeah. Now everything would look pretty pretty awesome. And clean. Because I'm in the office and I'm doing this voiceover. Alright, so I think there was a mistake here. Yeah, I have that side open because the wrap or the cellophane was too small. You know, the length and the breadth are not the same usually, so I had a smaller one that I inserted inside make sure you raise the bottom of the basket and put push 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 that inside <laughs> push that inwardly and then make sure you gently pull the outer wrap over the one you just pull, pushed inside what's wrong with me and then when we're done with that we will uh, um, simply take that down this is why you need a clear tape because any other color tape is just not going to do the work nope not okay not going to do the work
actually have a grocery hamper. You can also have a hamper for baby. You're gonna get to that. You can get a hamper, uh, beauty products. You can get makeup products. Just 